Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at debugging. So it's only fitting that we talk about testing and debugging at the same time. So we're going to be looking at setting up our Mac environment for debugging. Now I got to tell you the reason why I'm doing this video is because for some reason, just getting this uh, debugging for Go working is just a it's just painful. And so I'm going to try and walk through it and places where I speed it up is because I don't want a video to be too long. So definitely again in YouTube, you can slow it down to, you know, half as much or whatever, um, to start to get it back to sort of what it was recorded at. Cause I think I speed it up like twice, but anyway, let's pretend that, um, I have some code and this is code from chapter 12, section one, and I want to debug it. So I'm going to put my cursor in the margin all the way over to the left and I'm going to click. And that's going to give me this little red marker here. And so now I'm going to try and debug by going down to the debug icon here. And let me just expand my screen a little bit because um, usually when you try to debug, not only in Visual Studio Code, but if you use an Eclipse, it would be the same thing. Pretty much anything you would need a um, configuration. Um, even some ideas make you have a run configuration. So you click add configuration and notice what happens here. Um, you have this message that says, oh, you need to install Delve or whatever this thing is, right? Okay, this is a trap. Do not be baited by copying that link up there that is telling you the error message to go install it. Because if you go and you follow the direction there, when you paste this in your browser and you scroll along and you see documentation and you click on documentation and then you see Linux on Mac and then you click on Mac, Mac OS and follow that, guarantee it's not going to work and it's going to be very painful. Instead, here's what I want you to do. I want you to instead go to any web browser, type OSX self science certificate space DEVL. Okay. So once you search for that, you click on this link and this is the procedure you really want to follow. Do the self science certificate. And then at the end, when it says build it, where you sign it with the certificate that you've created here. That's what you want to do. Now, trust me, I've been through this a number of times. And if you install Delve without first creating a certificate, it's not going to work. And it's just going to be, like I said, more, even more painful. And it's already long and painful. And if you look right there, you're going to see that there's a YouTube link and the YouTube link is showing you exactly what I'm doing, which is going through creating a self signed certificate. The one thing I noticed with the YouTube video there was that it was a little bit um, fuzzy. So you have two videos. You can watch mine of me installing it, or you can you do that YouTube video, whichever one works for you. Now at this step, you will have to restart your computer in order for the self science certificate to take effect. Once you do that and you come back in, then you're going to, um, you know, check out the project and then actually build it with the certificate that you created. Know that you've restarted your computer make sure you restart your computer. All right. So once you build it, notice I'm going to, since I'm on go one eight, I don't have to do that other. Um, I ignore the part about, you know, 1.5 go 1.5, um, enabling the debug stuff. But once I do that and now I can test it, I can see it. Oh yes, I can actually run delve debug main and then um, you see, I, I had a prompt there just now, and now you just see me speeding up basically how to do debugging. And so I don't have it, the prompt always. And so now you can see, I can step through the code. So definitely this is the path you want to take. Um, so hopefully you're successful. Hope this works for you. Please let me know if you have any issues, um, getting that to work, follow me on Twitter. Some of you have already started following me. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Those of you watching the video here. Thank you very much also for your time and your patience. And definitely I would like you to thumbs up the videos. So please do that and subscribe, of course, and see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.